presidential candidate for the Workers' Party, Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva, finished a campaign tour this weekend. From Macaeo, our correspondent Brian Mears with the details. During a campaign rally in the northeastern city of Maceo, leaders of the Let's Get Together Brazil electoral coalition responded to recent threats made by far-right President Jair Bolsonaro and military leaders against this year's presidential elections. Our government's hands are dirty with the blood of Dom Phillips and Bruno Pereira. What makes the commanders of our armed forces think they can meddle in our elections? It's not their role. Elections belong to the people and the people are showing that they prefer to rebuild Brazil with Lula. With recent polls showing Lula over 20 points ahead in this year's presidential race, observers from around the world have warned the United Nations that President Bolsonaro and the military will try to enact a coup. But it's not scaring Lula's supporters. He's always trying to hold a coup. Anything can happen. We always prepare for a coup. But we are sure that this is Lula's year. Recent victories of the Latin American left have sparked hope and willingness to fight in most of the Brazilian working class, who are fed up with rising poverty and unemployment and rampant inflation caused by privatizations and senseless liberalization of fuel prices. Bloomberg says he went to the United States to ask Biden for help. Oh, Biden, he said, can you help me beat Lula? The way we are now, he can get Biden, Trump, and anyone else he wants, and we will still break the chains of this country. As thousands of Lula supporters sang the verse in the Brazilian national anthem which goes, Beloved homeland, a child of yours never runs from a fight, they looked like they meant it. Brian Mir, Telesur, Maceo.